break, we promised you that we're going to have a discussion on SHARE and we're getting on with that. The SHARE Expo is nigh and so we would like to know a bit more about SHARE Butter and what it offers uh, for Ghana and for the individuals in Ghana and across the world as well. Joining me this morning, uh, Dr. Julius Yeboa, who's an agronomist and propagation specialist. Um, Dr. Esther Jedu Akoto, a food scientist, and uh, Rashid Zakaria, the CEO of Savannah Golden Tree. You're all welcome to TV3 New Day. Thank you. <laughs> How are you doing? We're fine. Wonderful. We we're having a very interesting discussion about share and its benefits to Ghana uh, you know, as a whole. So I'd like uh, for us to begin with that uh, by understanding how important share is, uh, first and foremost, to Ghana as a country. Um, thank you for having us All this right. morning. Um, actually, I, if I want to really go into the importance of share mm. uh, to Ghana yeah. as a whole, I don't think we would, the, the time allotted for this segment would be enough. Right. And so I'll just touch on the basics. Um, I would prefer we look at the numbers first. Okay. Um, in 2018, um, the total value uh, share export market, mm -hmm. it was valued as at um, 1.2 billion US dollars. Okay. And um, out of this, uh, it was projected to grow at a rate of 6.6 .6, okay. uh, per annum up to uh, 2025. Uh, that, that alone tells us that um, if we uh, do our homework mm. and take it seriously, we can earn a lot of um, foreign exchange from it. Mm. Um, aside that, um, we have about 300,000 farmers who directly benefit from the share uh, industry. Yeah. And um, Ghana as a country in 2017 made a total of 70 million US dollars from the export from, of share wow. and its uh, related products. Mm. Yes. So That's aside right. um, adding to our income as well, uh, it also helps with uh, you know, the GDP figures as well. I'd like for us to look at the fact that, uh, you know, there's, there's the national program that's ongoing right now, uh, planting for exports yes. and rural development. Yes. And so I think uh, if we can talk a bit about the, the seeds, you know, as they are part of the program as well, if we can talk a bit about that, about how, um, you know, we can actually grow them and how, you know, the, the various stages in which, you know, they are grown and if it's possible for us to actually increase that so that we can also multiply the, the amounts that we are making at the end of the day. So, as I've mentioned talk. initially, uh, people were not ready to plant share because of its long gestation period mm. and slow growth. Because mm. a young plant can be in the ground for three or four years without coming up. Mm. And therefore, Craig was mandated to look at this problem and see how best it can be addressed. Yeah. And uh, we've done a lot from the sibling level. Yeah. Uh, initially, if you want to plant share and you have a nursery, yeah. You have to raise the ceiling for two and a half years before you can plant in the field. Oh. But for research purposes and what we have done so far, mm -hmm. within one, one and a half years, the ceilings are ready for field. So we are encouraging farmers okay. to come to us and we'll help them go into that. Okay. Secondly, we are all called the hybrid ceilings. You cross some materials. Okay. And they are also vigorously growing. Okay. They can also alongside the ceiling be multiplied and be given to farmers. Okay. However, we don't know the period of their footing yet. Oh. But uh, for the past five, six, seven years, we have been successful in reducing the period of footing to as low as three years. Okay. Through what we call grafting. Right. Grafting is just taking a part of a plant, infusing yes. to another plant. Yeah. You take a plant of interest, okay. infuse it, and when they merge, they grow as a as composite plant. Okay. And so when you, you do, do that, that with the share as yeah, well. share, that's okay. right. And the nursery, when it tends to send to the field within three years, mm. it begins to fruit and it fruits consistently. Mm. On the other aspect, also, we have what we call in situ grafting. Okay. We send the seedlings to the field, okay. nurture them for one year, mm. and then graft on them. Okay. Also, three years, so, they begin to fruit. Okay. It didn't end there. We also have some young share in the wild. Okay. About maybe 15 to 30 meters long. Okay. Those trees, we have more years to fruit. We cut them down and allow some shoots to develop from the stumps. Mm. Then we graft on them. Okay, so those ones take a shorter period of time to grow. That's right. Okay. So within three years, you can see fruiting. Okay. Presently, we have a lot of trees there uh, which are fruiting after three, four, five years consistently. Okay. And it didn't end there. 
we are what we call rooted cuttings. Mm. The shoots are taken from the tree, and we add some hormones to the young shoot, plant them in some structures under controlled conditions. Controlled conditions. And they begin to develop roots. Okay. We put them, send them to the foot, and four years. Okay, within they four years, they should begin yes. to fruit. So okay. now, these techniques That's are there, and we want to work on them. Okay. And Can we, sorry, okay. can we talk a bit about the processing as well? I'm very okay. interested okay. To, to know that bit also. Okay. Um, so how difficult is it to process, um, you know, the, the share? I understand that a lot of people do with the seeds, but then there's more that you can get out of the, you know, the share nut itself. If you can take us through that quick, uh, really quickly. All right. Yes. Um, when you take the share fruit as a whole, mm. we have the exocap, which mm -hmm. is the skin covering the outside mm -hmm. of it. Then the mesocap, mm -hmm. which is the pulp itself. Then the endocap, which okay. is the nut or okay. the seed. Mm -hmm. And we all know that the nuts mainly is for butter extraction. Yes. And mostly when we extract the butter in Ghana, we export them. People come and mm. buy and then okay. export yeah. them. That's true. But now at Coco Research, we are trying to see what we can do with the butter okay yes so we have developed some body lotions cosmetics in okay. general we have soaps yes toilet yes. soaps we have the local alata samina yeah, well. yes, we have true. the liquid form and the solid form of it we have pomades we have lotions and i want to want to encourage more Ghanaians to go into this kind of business yes and you know adding value to the butter Will, uh, will gain more, more, okay, yes, than okay. just selling the just butter selling. out. Okay, yes. All right. Um, sorry. Uh, I wanted to know if so. So at the expo, are we going to find out more about these? If you can tell us a bit more about the the expo. Unfortunately, we ran out of time. And so, if you can tell us a bit more about the expo, what to expect, what the activities are, and then we can carry on. Yes, um, at the expo, mm. um, actually on the 2nd of uh, December, mm. we are lucky to have um, the second lady of the Republic, okay. Her Excellency Hajia Samira Baumia. Mm. She's coming as a guest of honor to launch the, the expo. But the main expo would be held in April two, 2020 oh, okay. in Tamale. Okay. And okay. Uh, we expect uh, to have, um, a, we, we want to bring uh, the stakeholders together, okay. the business community, okay. the scientists, mm. government, financial institutions mm -hmm. and um, the processes, okay. all of them together so that um, they will share ideas and then information that will help to uplift uh, the share industry in Ghana. Okay. Yes. Um, at the same time, I just want to give a brief uh, remark about uh, the organization okay. itself. Really briefly. <laughs> yes. Coming from Savannah Golden Tree, we are the main organizers, okay. but uh, we have the partners uh, the Northern Regional Coordinating Council, mm -hmm. as well as uh, the other sister coordinating councils from the north, the Savannah region, yeah. the northeast, upper east, upper west, yeah. um, as well as um, the government institutions. Um, sorry, we've run out of time. Yeah, but, uh, it's, it's really sad. I would have but hopefully, we can continue again. Yes. It would be nice to you know talk a bit more about share. We're talking about the very interesting things that you can do with share as well. So hopefully, we'll get you back in our studios. Okay. But uh, it's all about the share expo that will be happening next year. Yes. And so we look forward to it. We'll get you back so that we can talk more about it. Thank you so much for joining us this hey, morning. It's a pleasure. Uh, Dr. Julius Yeboa, who's an agronomist and uh, propagation specialist. Dr. Esther Jedu Akutu, a food scientist, and uh, Rashid Zakaria, CEO of Savannah Golden Tree. Thank you for joining. CV3.